Hello Bronco families, I'm Amanda Swafford and I will be the math department chair at East Forsyth High School. I would just like to say from the outstart that our department cannot wait to connect with all of our families. We're excited to meet our students and parents and to work with our community to establish some great traditions at East Forsyth. The purpose of this presentation is just to go through some of the math options that will be available for you at East Forsyth and also to help you make some informed decisions during the registration process. So let's take a look at some of the courses that will be offered for each grade level. At the ninth grade level, we will have offerings of Foundations of Algebra, Algebra 1, Algebra 1 Support, Honors Geometry, and Accelerated Geometry B, Algebra 2. So when registration begins and you are able to log into the portal to see the courses that your math teacher has recommended, you should see one of these five courses. Now, which course is there for you is all dependent upon what you are currently taking in eighth grade. Foundations of Algebra is a course that's intended to help students who need just a little more time to prepare for Algebra 1. It is intended to give you a year to build um, your foundation of skills that will better prepare you for Algebra 1 and help you be successful. Foundations of Algebra is a math credit that counts toward high school graduation. The majority of our students will probably be enrolled in or recommended for Algebra 1. Algebra 1 is the first course in the traditional sequence for high school mathematics. Some students who have been recommended for Algebra 1 may have also been recommended to take Algebra 1 support. Now I have Algebra 1 support highlighted in my presentation just to emphasize that this is an extra math class during the day, but it only counts as an elective credit. It is not a math credit. You do receive a grade and that grade does count toward your high school GPA. But just keep in mind that it is not a standalone math course. It's meant to supplement the Algebra 1. And it is designed to just give students more time during the school day to get assistance from a math teacher. We also will have some ninth graders enrolled in Honors Geometry, as well as Accelerated Geometry B, Algebra 2. These would be students who have already started the high school sequence in eighth grade. For 10th grade, we have Geometry. And we also offer geometry support. Again, that is highlighted to indicate that it is an elective credit and it's intended to accompany the geometry class. It is offered during the school day and will be one of your classes. Honors Algebra 2 and Accelerated Pre-Calculus will also be offered to 10th graders. Those would be for students who have already started with the other honors and accelerated courses in the year prior. In 11th grade, most students will be recommended to take Algebra 2. And then also those students who have started the honors and accelerated courses already may be um, recommended to take accelerated pre-calc. Some students may be ready to take AP calculus, or they would have the option to enroll in some dual enrollment courses. Now I've also gave you some options here for the 12th grade. Remember at East Forsyth, we will only have grades nine through 11, but I wanted to give you a listing of the 12th grade courses just so you could have a preview of what's to come. As you can see, the choices are expanded in 12th grade. Um, most of our courses have a traditional sequence. There's prerequisites in Algebra 1 that are needed to take geometry, and then geometry and Algebra 1 build together to help you get prepared for Algebra 2. So traditionally, in the first three grade levels, your, the flow of your courses is um, very set. However, by the time you get into 12th grade, we have more options for you so that you can choose the course that best meets your needs and your skill level and helps you better prepare for the next level beyond high school. Okay, so now that we've looked at the general um, course offerings for each grade level, let's look at the sequence of these courses because many times I get questions from students and from parents that if I take this course, say Algebra 1 in 8th grade, what will I be taking by the time I'm a senior? Or if I take Honors Geometry, what does that mean for me? So I wanted to give you the traditional or the typical sequence of courses that many students follow. 
So as you can see here, it's kind of a flow chart. It moves from left to right. You can see you have on the left side the 8th grade course and then at the end the 12th grade course. And so most 8th graders who are in 8th grade math, when they enter high school, will take Algebra 1, then they will take Geometry, then Algebra 2, and then by the time they're a senior, they have many options, pre-calc, advanced math decision making, statistical reasoning, AP statistics, and some other courses. So depending on how successful you are in those 9th, 10th, and 11th grade courses will guide you into the course you take your senior year. That is the traditional pathway that the majority of our students follow. We do have some students in eighth grade who have already started the Algebra One high school math course and are receiving that high school credit in the eighth grade. If you start Algebra One in the eighth grade, the majority of you will move on to Honors Geometry, then Honors Algebra Two, then Accelerated Pre-Calculus, and then finally your 12th grade year, you'll have some options for AP courses as well as dual enrollment. A handful of you have also started the accelerated um, sequence in eighth grade. So you have completed this year in eighth grade, you might be completing all of Algebra One in the first half of our geometry course, all in the eighth grade. If that's the case and you've been successful in the accelerated course in eighth grade, you will take the next accelerated course in ninth grade. So you'll finish the geometry course and take Algebra Two. Then you will take accelerated pre-calculus your 10th grade year. The 11th and 12th grade year is open between lots of options for AP classes and dual enrollment. Um, a lot of that depends on where your interests fall and what your plans are beyond high school, what you take in the 11th and 12th grade. The majority of students leave accelerated pre-calc in the 10th grade and take the AP Calculus ABBC their 11th grade year. And then they have more options their senior year. So, this just gives you three of the typical sequences for the majority of our students. Nothing is set in stone. We have students move between these sequences all the time. Sometimes we have students who take Algebra 1 in the ninth grade and they do extremely well and are looking for opportunities to advance their math learning and to make it to an AP class. And we do have options available for those students to do that. Sometimes students start with the honors class or the accelerated class and learn that it's just way too much for them. By the time they balance all of their courses in high school um, and extracurricular activities, sometimes it's too much and they want to back off a little bit. Or maybe they realize their interests are really in social studies and, and English. So they want to focus their interests and take in honors and AP classes and other subject areas. And that's okay. So if you started in accelerated in eighth grade, it is possible that maybe you don't want to do accelerated in ninth grade and maybe you want to drop down to honors geometry and that's okay too. So keep in mind that the sequences that I have here are not set for all students. There are ways to move between them and if you have any questions about what course you should take next, please talk with your current teacher, ask them for advice and recommendations. They've worked with you all their year long. They know your skill set and they can help guide you to make a good decision, but you can also send me an email and I'll be glad to communicate with you through email or if you'll give me a phone number, I'll be glad to call you and have a phone conversation about our math course offerings. I hope this gives you just kind of a big picture of what um, our math courses are all about and um, maybe helps you set some goals for what you want to achieve during your high school career. In this next slide, the title Math Course Descriptions, that is a hyperlink and you can click on this presentation that will be loaded on our website. That hyperlink will take you to our county uh, website and will give you a list of all math courses and what is taught in each of those courses. It also lists the prerequisites for each course so you can have an idea of what is expected of you before you enter a course. So, Click on that hyperlink if you have questions or like to read more details about our, our courses. We also have a lot of questions sometimes about the AP classes and what's the difference. So feel free to email me. I love to talk math and I want to help you make an informed decision. 
um, as to whether an AP class or dual enrollment is the best option for you or you know or whatever the question may be sometimes there are just real specifics to the individual so please don't hesitate to reach out again my name's Amanda Swafford and there's my email in the presentation feel free to reach out and ask questions because I love to talk about our math curriculum all right so don't forget forget to connect with all of our social media outlets we um, they are continually posting lots of exciting things that are going on as East Forsyth prepares to open in the fall of 2021. And we want to connect with you. We don't want you to miss out on any of the exciting opportunities that are available. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please reach out and ask those questions to me. I'll be glad to help in any way I can. Go Broncos!